I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. Nah, them niggas not like us, we tied in. Going back in the fourth, shot rack in the wall, cracking the pool, dry skin. Yo, 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 yo. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, rightsgangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to Chicago, Shy Rack, Big T, Vano, my man CEO 5000. That's Mob Ties. Make sure y'all check out that record. I've been spinning it a lot, man. They've been getting a lot of promotion for that record. Um, but, 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 let's, let's get into what we got to get into. Hitman Holla calls out. Murder Mook after his battle with Tay Rock. So, going into this battle, I, on record, I have said this, you know, I was saying that uh, Murder Mook would have had to do more. I said that uh, Murder Mook is an MC that, although he has been on God level for a long time, he needed to prove it against somebody from our era, and he did that. Murder Mook had a phenomenal battle versus Tay Rock, and especially in his third round. Rock had his moments, his second round was crazy, and it's a it's a country divided. You got people that feel like Mook won 3-0, people that feel like he won 2-1, Caffeine Poll is saying Rock, URL Poll is split down the middle, I think they were saying Rock. Listen man, this is an opinionated sport. Everyone will have their opinion about how they feel about a battle. If someone feels like, and I feel like, if someone feels like, a MC won a battle and they showed up, had three rounds, put their heart into the shit, and the other MC did the same, then it is what it is. You can't like, you can't really be mad. I'm not mad at what I saw from either party. Uh, like I said, Murder Moose third round, it was mastered, it was mastered perfectly as far as what his what he wanted to do, what he set out to do. Uh, you had official in the comments saying that, you know, that what uh, the the allegation was not true and all this other shit. But that's what that's how he crafted his material. Rock second round, he came out fighting. But listen, I'm not here to change anyone's opinion on how they feel about an opinionated sport. If you feel like one party won, cool. Uh, because here's the deal. When Sue Surf battled 40 bars, and when all of the ladies and gents battled on kings and queens, the word of the poll was law. However people felt, however the fans voted in the poll was the determining factor of winners and losers. Now we have another battle where you could have people feel one way on a poll, but then you have people feel another way who actually watched it. This is the reason why I said all of the intangibles that are involved is people's decision. Listen, salute to all of the MCs, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I did say that I felt like this battle should have been the only battle. And when, and now watching it, when you watch back, you can see why I said, Danny Myers has been battling a lot. I said that he should not, I didn't even think he should have been on it. I said he was battling a lot. He showed up versus Jerry West and he did not do a phenomenal job. Uh, I said the other battle, um, Emerson Kennedy showed up. He was all right, but he didn't do great. It could have done without these battles. And this is nothing that, I, I said it. Before it happened, I said this, you know what I'm saying? And I say it again, now after watching it. But uh, they got a situation where Hitman Holla calls out Murder Mook. He says, I'm sick of this nigga, man. Hitman versus Murder Mook. Set it up, bitch. Basically saying, set it up. Uh, I will say this, Murder Mook has got the top tier MCs coming out and calling him out. And when you do that, that's like how you keep the culture or keep battle rap in your grasp, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of how he feels about anything, about people's decisions, about blogs, he can say how he, however he feels, that's his decision, that's how he feels. But when it comes to battle rap, um, he's the oracle, he has been that for quite some time. And my biggest thing was, I said it, what performance did he have that showed us that he was relevant enough and able to keep up with someone of the magnitude of Tay Rock who has been doing it battle for battle for battle for battle. He just had that in his performance versus Tay Rock. So now he has revalidated. If he had if he had never validated himself to whomever before, he has revalidated it. It's made a point and made a statement that he can do it at this level. And you gotta have respect for that. Listen, everybody grew up 
if you grew up in the, not everybody, but a lot of people who grew up in that era grew up watching the Murder Mooks versus Party Yardies, Murder Mook versus Loaded Lux, uh, Murder Mooks in the Fight Club. Like, you know, we, we seen, I'm the one that sold the quack to Daffy Duck and all of that, you know what I'm saying? So I could never take away from any of his accomplishments, but when you look at the span of the last five to 10 years, who had the better resume going into it? Who had the, the bigger moments? It was one person. Now for him to come in there and do what he did in his first, in his second, and especially in his third, you gotta give it up. You know what I'm saying? You got to, you got no choice. You have to give the admiration to him. But now Hitman Holler is calling him out. He's saying he's sick of him. Hitman versus Mook, set it up. Uh, in that small room, I haven't seen Hitman perform a lot in a lot of them small rooms. Um, this, it was a smaller room with him versus Bill Collector. He was definitely able to rap some in that. Uh, he's definitely a big stage guy. But Murder Mook showed how you could uh, really, really break down the MC, uh, have specific angles that you want to target without being punch for punch for punch for punch. Because we live in an era that's like, a lot of people gravitate towards punches. Whoever punched the most, you know what I'm saying, one. They'll be like, oh, this person is, they call, nowadays, they'll call an MC who's not spitting punch for punch for punch for punch filler. They'll call it, they'll be like, it's, you know, it's all filler. But when you listen to the different pockets of material, like I said, when he said that shit about uh, poor bear, the poor bear, and even the poor bear, and he said, I'll take it back. He said, y'all fear the poor bear, the poor, that shit was fire. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to take away from what he did, but now you got Hitman Hollow on the line. Mook said he's, he's up for three battles, so uh, I thought that the Hollow of the Dawn uh, should definitely be one of the battles that's one of those, because him and Hollow was going back and forth and they were supposed to battle before, so him and Hollow would probably be a good match. Uh, people are saying Shine, but I think him and Hitman would definitely be a, a dope-ass battle. Him and Hitman... Uh, Hitman, he called him out. He's the one calling him out saying that he wants that smoke. So, I mean, uh, overall, uh, he could control, like, he controls the game. Mook can say who he wants. He's like, if I want this person or that person, whatever he wants to do is going to be fine with, with him. You know what I'm saying? Because he just showed it. That's the thing. It's a lot of things people could say. You know what I'm saying? There's people who could say they like a certain team or say they like a certain MC or say they like a certain media, you know what I'm saying? You could you could pick and choose. That's the freedom of being able to do that. But when someone shows you that they're still able and capable of doing it on a certain level, you got to give respect for that. But you're not wrong. As a fan, you're not wrong. If you feel like Moot won, you're not wrong. If you feel like Rock won, that's your opinion. You're not wrong. It's a in it what is the determining factor? The votes, when you, when people do the votes in the polls, you know, they say that the votes in the polls is the determining factor. Then you have people that say that no, the Twitter polls is the factor. But there's no one real way that you can get everybody's opinion. Now, will I say this? I'll say this. Mook definitely spiked the interest of the battle rap culture again. I tell you that. There's not going to be nobody... There should be nobody that questions whether he could do it on this level again. I questioned that. I definitely said, could he do it on this level again? That is nothing to hide. I said that shit. No questions asked. And I'm entitled to say that. I can say what I, that's my opinion. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to, you don't have to respect it. You don't have to, that, but I said that. And now I'm saying after he did it, yo, you did that. Now who's next? Is, the, is he going to stick around? Is he going, is he going to continue to smoke shit? You know, overall the battle was good. I thought it was good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's a good battle. I watched it again. They got apps for that. Matter of fact, action packed. They got apps for that. I peeped it again. You know, I felt like Rock edged the third. I felt like Mook, no, I felt like Rock edged the second. Mook got the third. And the first is the closest round that's going to be the one that's going to be the determining factor. But that's just my, my thoughts, my opinion. I, I don't have to. Uh, cater to anyone else's thoughts, people gonna say what they want. There's people who feel like he got every round. And there's feel like people that got the other MC got every round, you know? But uh, what y'all think about Hitman versus Murder Mook? Is Hitman versus Murder Mook a battle that we're gonna entertain? Is that is that something that the people wanna see? Um, I think it's good, that it's a good energy. I'm not gonna, I won't cap. It's a good energy when Mook is involved and when he's doing shit like what he's doing right here, you know what I'm saying? Call it out, you know what I'm saying? He feel like he he's he's still able to do it at this level. I said in the third round that Clutch Gene came out 
to where he just like like put it in another gear to try to get the win. You know what I'm saying? Like he definitely put it in another gear. He was he was bombing. He he definitely when he did that shit with the talking to his mom and talking to his mom. You know what I'm saying? Like and then he gave a rest in peace to Riz's man and all of that. Like that's real shit. Like that's not like that's respectable shit. You know what I mean? Like as far as from but but both MCs did what? See the thing is. Uh, the second round, I like when Rock was using those different patterns of words. Imminent, uh, you know what I'm saying? Represent that. I'm vigilant. Uh, like, I like that type of shit. But that's just the type of shit that I like. But I like the shit when Mook was jumping into different patterns of words and bars and shit like that. I know a lot of people will try to say, oh, it wasn't punch, 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 punch. But he don't have to do that. He showed you. And it was no stumbles, no slips, no blips, no chokes. Like, what? Niggas went crazy. But, uh... In a Hitman versus Mook, uh, same scenario, I think it would be a fire battle. I mean, amongst two of them, them, them niggas would just have to come to agreements. I know that is a battle that could happen because both of them have big enough names to do that. You know what I'm saying? And I don't see no big stages coming back no time soon. Ain't no, ain't no big stages coming back. So if ain't no big stages coming back, uh, you know, you're going to have to you gonna have to call it down to like like small room type shit. That's just, just what it's going to be. You know what I mean? For, for the foreseeable future, there will only probably be small room shit. But you see more and more people being involved. You see more faces in the crowd. So, you know, but Corona ain't slowed down. I'm just I'm just just saying Corona ain't slowed down. So until we find some kind of foreseeable cure or a resolution to it, I don't know how it's gonna work. Uh Rooftop Dot did his thing. He went crazy. Ball for ball for ball for ball went crazy. Uh Jerry West went crazy. Super, super crazy. Jerry West was wildin' versus Danny, and uh, Loso went crazy versus uh, Emerson Kennedy. But besides that, I don't really have that many takeaways. This is the reason why I said what I said. Like, I'm not, I don't dodge the fact that I, I said it on camera. I've said it in the confidence of my, my people and shit that some of these battles, I just was like, yo, like, is these MCs really gonna be able to perform on the level of where Murder Mook and Tay Rock is at? I, I also said, I said it on camera, I've said it before that I thought that it should have just been the face off and went straight to the battle. But that's just my fucking opinion. I say what I want, it's my camera, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. But uh, you know, it turned out how it was and you're gonna have the culture feeling like how they feel, you know what I mean, as far as uh, opinions and that's just what it is. But what do you think about a murder mook versus a hitman holler? You niggas already know what they're doing, what it does. Rice Gang clothing for the merchandise. Salute to CEO 5000, Vino, Big T, Mob Ties, Gang. My niggas moving, I'll do traffic dirty, just do bag of jiggers in the Uber. Uh, you fuck with them niggas? They fuck with them niggas?